what's going on traders welcome back to another video i hope you guys are having an amazing day today i'm going to be talking about palantir technology there are a couple of important updates i want to share with you and a lot of people are saying there is a potential short squeeze that could happen with this stock i want to go over that i'm sure you guys are going to enjoy this one with that let's get started <music> welcome everyone thank you for taking time from your busy schedule and watching this video if you are here for the first time please do not forget to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel so today we are talking about palantir technologies right now it is traded at 25 dollars and 30 cents on this public portfolio i have 700 shares my average cost is 23 dollars and 70 cents today we're up by seven percent that is roughly 1100 dollars and on top of that i have 20 options contract that is expiring on april 23rd this is for a strike price of 30 dollars and we're gonna see how things are gonna turn out i'm sure by now you know palantir is one of my most favorite stock we're gonna see what will happen tomorrow but before then i want to highlight a couple of things so the first one is a potential short squeeze i want to share this video with you and let's see what you guys think about it you're pulling back today, falling more than 3%, but a lot of retail trader activity in the options market seems to be pointing to a very quick recovery. Let's bring in Mike Coe for more. Mike, what'd you see? Yeah, so Palantir Options saw above average call activity today, about 90,000 contracts, more than it trades on average. And the most action was seen in the 24, 25, and 26 strike calls, April that expire this coming Friday. The 24 strike calls, for example, traded about 45,000 contracts. Those were trading for just under 70 cents. So buyers of those are obviously betting that the stock could recover above 25 or so by the end of the week. All right. Um, Mike's going to stick around. Dan, what do you think of uh, Palantir? Well, it's really interesting. Based on that other conversation we were having about mm -hmm. SPACs, this stock is down 50% from its all-time highs here. Kink it out of its own way. It's down in the year versus a NASDAQ and an S&P. They're up nearly 10%. So I think this is another sign of just some enthusiasm coming out of some of these once very hot parts of the stock market. Yeah. If memory serves, Guy P, in your hope trade, was Palantir. And hope springs eternal and your memory is well served clearly and to dan's point it hasn't been listen after trading up to 39 and change the stock's 23 now and it has not been a performer at all but kathy wood keeps talking about how much she loves the stock and thinks she just added another million shares and i think in the earnings on may 11th you buy the stock listen it's been very difficult i get it i think people are concerned they can't scale down their offerings for medium-sized businesses i think they'll figure out and i think it's still uh worthy of the p in the hope trade so why would a stock short squeeze? The first thing is high demand. When a lot of people talking about one specific stock, there is fear of missing out. They keep buying that stock, the price go up. So people who shorted that stock, when they're trying to cover their short, the price keep getting higher because more people are buying it because they're interested in the growth potential of that specific stock. In this case, Palantir from all time high, it is actually trading 50% low. So when we see the short interest in this stock is 3.3%, that is very small, but shares shorted are 57 million shares. If you multiply 57.7 million by its current price, which is $25.42, that will actually give you $1.4 billion. And the current market cap for Palantir is $46 billion. To be honest with you, $1.4 billion is not a small amount. The second thing is if you go to Reddit Wall Street Bait, and other smaller subreddit like R Palantir, everybody's talking about Palantir technology. Some people are YOLOing it, putting a lot of money in the stock. For example, this guy saying he put 20,000 shares, that is $459,000. There is a big expectation the stock is gonna go to $30, $40 after the demo day. If you remember Tesla and GME, it has a lot of people following it, people who are willing to hold the stock no matter what. That is what is happening with Palantir. And the other thing is, of course, the options chain. Palantir saw above average call activities on Monday, about 90,000 contracts, more than it trades on average. And the most action we seen in the 24, 25, and 26 dollar strike call that expires this coming Friday. So in the previous video, when we talk about PLTR, we saw the difference between put option versus call options. It was kind of half and half. But now, if you see Palantir, and at options activity, you will be surprised, especially something that is expiring on April 16th, which is in three days. The put options open interest is 219,000. 
and the call option open interest is 533,000. That is a massive difference. Actually, some investors are baiting Palantir will go to $40. I even see people baiting Palantir will go to $65 by Friday. It has an open interest for 20,945. That is crazy, guys. This is a very good thing for Palantir long-term investors, swing traders, short-term investors, whoever you are. But at the end of the day, you need to have a strategy in place. What if nothing happens on demo day? Are you going to sell all your shares or are you going to hold? What if something major happens on demo day? Are you going to take your profit? You know, what is your strategy? And on top of that, this is a very interesting speculation. Chairman Staley hints that Palantir could run in Bitcoin. Last week, Palantir's chairman Peter Thiel he claimed that he is a Bitcoin maximalist who was simultaneously warning about the trades that Bitcoin poised to the dollar position as a reserved currency. While there is no publicly disclosed link between the program and Palantir, the IRS is scanning Bitcoin transaction under Operation Hidden Treasure. The IRS uses Palantir to find tax evasion. Palantir's data governance technology could provide a privacy balance compliance solution to Bitcoin in a more stringent regulatory environment. This will cement Bitcoin as an open source digital alternative. So this is a rumor stage, but I mean a very good idea whether Palantir is attached with Bitcoin or not. Palantir has a huge growth potential. Tomorrow is Coinbase IPO day and Palantir has any type of relationship with Bitcoin. Guys, this is going to be guys, this is going to be a gasoline on a fire. Last but not the least on Palantir's page on Twitter, Palantir is on a mission with United to make the future of aviation more sustainable. Remember United Airlines purchased $1 billion from Archer Aviation and now Palantir has the potential to work with United. Palantir also invested in a flying taxi company that is in the same niche, Palantir to gather data and make an educated decision. Overall, this is actually a very good news for Palantir long-term investors. One thing that I like about PLTR is now they're actually thinking to diversify. If you really think about this, Palantir is data plus artificial intelligence together. Just imagine the total addressable market. On my previous video, I talked about the $16 trillion market and the AI niche. And the US Department of Defense is willing to put $8 billion on R&D every year. From the look of it, I believe a lot of great things will be disclosed on Palantir's demo day. And now let's do a very quick technical analysis to see where the stock price is heading. So when we see the 30 minutes chart, it looks extremely bullish, consistently creating higher highs and higher lows. And at the same time, a lot of volume is coming in. This is exactly what happened on the previous demo day. Actually, the volume was strong and was consistently creating higher highs and higher lows. So if you see the previous demo day, exactly a couple of days before the demo day, the price of Palantir dropped and start to trade around $23, $24 and slowly start to pick up and some good news came out that day again it dropped so on demo day nothing exactly happened but right after it once people analyze and understand what palantir could potentially do the stock price spiked all the way to 39 dollars and slowly start to drop and in a few days it went all the way to 45 dollars i'm not saying the same thing could potentially happen but patterns tend to repeat themselves exactly the same thing is happening when they announced the $89 billion government contract, instead of the price spiking gap, it actually dropped to $23. And now, before the demo day, the price starts to spike up and slowly trading around $24, $25. Maybe tomorrow, we might not see Palantir trading at $30. It might be trading around $26. No one really knows. But based on previous movement, a day after the demo day is where a major spike usually happens that takes the price of Palantir to $30 even way higher than that so that could be one possibility even tomorrow the price of pltr could open at 28 29 dollars no one could really know but one thing that i tell you is that please have a strategy in place for example if pltr goes back to a previous highs which is around 40 45 dollars if it is possible i want to take my initial investment at least i want to take out ten thousand dollars from the public account because eventually it's going to pull back and it's going to give us another buying opportunity so this is one possibility we never know but overall keep it on your watch list but with the volume and the momentum that it is having i know for a fact it is going to break above 26 dollars 90 and start to create higher highs and most likely we're going to see the price of palantir 
trading above $26.27 by the end of this week. And in the long run, my price target for PLTR is at least $50 to $60. I hope you guys got something out of this video. Please let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on my next video.